I'm Angie. Today I'm going to show you a recipe for raspberry pecan tea bread. And it's very simple, just like all the other bread recipes I've shown you. And it's pretty healthy too. You're going to get 16 slices out of the loaf, and each one is about 154 calories, uh, 1 gram of fiber, and 6 grams of fat. So it's pretty healthy. Anyway, let's get started. In a bowl, I'm going to cream a quarter cup of butter, and that's only 4 tablespoons. You can use margarine, but I prefer to use butter. To that, I'm going to cream in one cup of sugar. I'm just using an electric beater today, but you can do this by hand as well. Okay, to the creamed butter and sugar, I'm just going to add one egg and two-thirds of a cup of milk. And I'm using skim milk today. I'm just going to set that aside and we'll combine our dry ingredients. I've got one and a half cups of flour. The all-purpose flour is good. And I've got a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Just combine that. And I'm just going to add that to the wet ingredients. You don't want to overmix this. Now I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees and I've lined an 8x4 loaf pan with foil and lightly greased it. So now to the batter. I'm just going to add one cup of frozen raspberries and a half cup of pecan pieces. And just stir that in. And those raspberries are straight from the freezer. You don't thaw them first. Put the batter in the pan. We're going to bake this at 350 for 60 to 70 minutes or until the texture comes out clean. So spread that evenly in the pan. I'm going to pop this in the oven for an hour and 10 minutes or so. And I'll show it to you when it's done. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your raspberry pecan tea bread.